The day we're taking a look at these MLB matches, Colorado Rockies vs San Francisco Giants, Houston Astros vs Los Angeles Angels, San Diego Padres vs Arizona Diamondbacks, Toronto Blue Jays vs Seattle Mariners, and Los Angeles Dodgers vs New York Mets, which are happening on Sunday, August 15, 2021, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. 5 plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 270 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting advice that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advice. Colorado Rockies vs San Francisco Giants. With the Rockies set as heavy underdogs, it is hard not to take a look at Gray in this game. The Rockies' right-hander has been a road warrior in 2021 and has pitched well as of late, allowing three earned runs or fewer in eight of his last nine starts. After losing to the Giants 5-4 in the second game of this series they beat them in the last game 4-1. The team only had five hits in the game, CJ Cron went deep and had two RBI, and Ryan McMahon also had two RBI. Cron leads the team with 19 HR and 60 RBI, and he has four RBI over his last three games. McMahon ranked second on the club with 18 HR and 60 RBI, and while he had 2 RBI in his last game, he went hitless to snap his 10-game hitting streak. On the season Colorado is only 14-44 on the road. My betting advice for that game is to pick Colorado Rockies. Houston Astros vs Los Angeles Angels. The Astros are a better offensive team and have a huge advantage in Sunday's contest on the mound. McCullers has a 3.00 ERA in 15 career starts against the Angels, and McCullers has been sensational on the road this season with a 7-0 record and 2.70 ERA in 9 starts. After a 2-7 stretch put dropped Houston's lead in the Al West to just one game, the Astros are back on track with three straight wins while allowing a total of two runs during that stretch. Kyle Tucker's fourth inning grand slam proved to be all the offense Houston needed to take the series opener on Friday in Anaheim, as future Hall of Famer Zach Greinke tossed seven scoreless innings while allowing just two hits. Standout rookie Luis Garcia will be on the hill on Saturday night looking to keep up the hot streak for the rotation. Houston is not nearly as effective against the spread at 59-56, but has won enough outright to be up a decent amount on the money line for this season. Overs are 63-49-3 for the Astros, although just one of their last seven games has gone over the betting total. The Los Angeles Angels have lost three of their last four games and dropped to 58-59 with Friday's 4-1 loss against the Astros. The lone run for Los Angeles came on a Shohei Itani RBI infield single in the eighth inning. My betting advice for that game is to pick Houston Astros minus 1.5. San Diego Padres vs Arizona Diamondbacks. Golan has performed well in his career against San Diego and has a chance to build on that success in this spot. The Padres' offense has gone into a lull over the last four games, scoring just five combined runs during that span. Meanwhile Arizona suddenly finds itself trending up and can play the role of spoiler against a division rival with another win. San Diego is expected to start this final game with one of their bullpen arms. Early reports indicate right-hander Rice Nair getting the nod for the first couple of frames. The 24-year-old has a 4.26 ERA and 1.26 whip over 12.2 innings in relief for the Padres this season. Check back closer to game time for an update on if the Padres call up another starter. The Padres have been one of the more consistent offensive teams in the majors, which was anticipated coming into the season with their stacked lineup. They rank top 10 in almost every single category, including batting average, runs, on-base percentage, slugging, and home runs. Second-year shortstop Fernando Tatis was on a fiery pace before going down with an injury, but the Padres have plenty of stars to overcome his absence. They will be dangerous in October. My betting advice for that game is to pick Arizona Diamondbacks. Toronto Blue Jays vs Seattle Mariners. The Blue Jays have been one of the more threatening teams in all of baseball recently. They have won 12 out of their last 17 games overall, propelled by a barrage of runs. Seattle has been playing .500 baseball recently, but this is a team that ranks 28th in ops and rarely scores more than 4 runs. 
they have scored four or fewer runs in 10 consecutive games. The one major weakness of a loaded Blue Jays team has been the bullpen in clutch situations, and that came back to bite Toronto in a tight loss again on Friday, as Brad Hand walked in the game-winning run in the ninth on four pitches. It wasn't a banner night for the Blue Jays' offense either as they managed only two runs while stranding nine runners, spoiling an outstanding start by Robbie Ray. Toronto will hope to bounce back and even the series on Saturday night, with Hyun Jin Ryu on the mound. The Blue Jays have nearly an identical mark against the spread at 62.50 and are one loss away from moving into negative territory on the money line for the season. Overs are 50 to 58-4 for the Blue Jays, including an even 5-5 over their last 10 games. Toronto is enjoying a stacked defense with an average of 5.15 runs per game and an MLB best 0.785 ops as a team. The pitching staff ranks just outside of the top 10 with a 3.85 ERA, including a mark of 3.69 from a rotation that is pitching very well of late. Logan Gilbert will take the mound for the 16th time of the year. Gilbert was fantastic in his previous start, limiting the Rangers to only two runs in six frames, but received little run support and finished with a no decision in a game Seattle lost. Gilbert is enjoying a promising rookie year, allowing three or fewer runs in all but three outings, and owns a 4.05 ERA and a 1.08 whip to go with a 4-5 record in 73.1 innings pitched. This marks his first career meeting against Toronto. Seattle was able to win two of three against the last place Texas Rangers this week, but their offensive issues continued in that series. The Mariners' playoff hopes are fading as they are 4.5 games out in the wild card. They stand at in 5-5 in their last 10 games. My betting advice for that game is to pick Toronto Blue Jays. Los Angeles Dodgers vs New York Mets. A year or two ago, a matchup between Scherzer and Carrasco would have been quite an affair. However, Carrasco clearly does not have his arm strength up, and facing a team like Los Angeles is not where you want to try to do so. He could easily be out of this game by the second inning, as the Dodgers have as formidable of a lineup as any team in baseball. th 3 a Dodgers have one of the best teams in the MLB and only got stronger at the trade deadline when they acquired former Cy Young Award winner Max Scherzer for the Nationals. Scherzer is having another incredible season as he is only allowing 38 runs and 28 starts while striking out 163 batters on the season. Moreover, Scherzer is allowing a .191 expected opponent batting average, which is one of the best in the MLB, along with a .371 expected opponent slugging percentage and a 3.17 expected ERA. The New York offense struggled all game until the bottom of the seventh when the team put together four runs to tie the score. Dominic Smith got bets on the board with an RBI single, and Jeff McNeil followed with a two-run single to pull the Mets within one. A passed ball allowed the tying run to score. New York looked to rally in the bottom of the 10th, with an RBI ground out to pull them within one, but they could not get the equalizer. New York is averaging 3.77 runs per game, 28th overall, they are 6th in runs allowed per contest, 3.90. That gives the team a minus 0.12 run differential, 15th overall. This is not a great hitting team, 23rd in batting average, 0.236, and 26th in home runs per contest, 1.05. The Mets will start right-hander Carlos Carrasco. Carrasco is 0-0 with a 6.75 ERA in three starts. He had been out until July 30 when he returned to allow one run in four innings against Cincinnati. Carrasco looked solid in his next start, allowing two runs in 4.1 innings to Miami, but was shelled in his last outing, allowing four runs in a single inning against Washington on August 10. My betting advice for that game is to pick San Francisco Giants minus 1.5. Good luck to all of you. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and stay safe for the next betting tips and advice.